$800 one-time check for Social Security, including retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, and Medicare beneficiaries. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now this continues to be a question showing up down below in the comments section from some of you right here in the community reaching out asking, hey, whatever happened to that one-time $800 check for millions and billions of fixed income beneficiaries? That's a great question and exactly what I want to focus on here in the video because yes, you are correct. Senior Senate Democrats did introduce a one-time $800 check for about 63 million fixed income beneficiaries. Let's get into it and discuss all the details and of course, what you need to know about this payment. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. As I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm watching all this new information hitting the wire every single day doing all the necessary research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what is actually going on right now as things are changing rapidly and we're getting new information out of the administration, the president, lawmakers, Congress, and of course all the bills and packages, proposals and amendments, reform to very important fixed income benefits, and anything regarding money, checks, programs, raises to benefits, or anything else along these lines for the low income and fixed income. Of course, I'm watching it all very closely and bringing you the latest updates right here in these videos as like I said, we're getting announcements literally every single day. Things are changing rapidly and it's only going to get busier over the coming days, weeks, and the next few months here. So anyway, I'm here for you in any way that I can be. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And I'll continue to be here for you right by your side every single day. That's my dedication. That's my commitment. And as always, I'm sticking to it. All right. Thanks again. Let's jump into it and talk about this one-time $800 check for about 63 million beneficiaries. Where is it? What happened? What are the latest updates? updates and is it possibly still coming? That's a good question. All right, so let's break it down here. Here's what it comes down to. About a year or so ago, yeah, actually it was about a year ago, when they were working on the Build Back Better. Do you remember that one? It was about a $2 trillion package. It was about a year ago. They were talking about it, working through the details. In fact, they spent almost all of last year working on the Build Back Better only for it to do nothing. It never happened, right? Well, within that, they wanted to do something. Uh, they wanted to expand Medicare benefits, right? So they wanted to expand Medicare to include hearing, dental, and vision coverage. Well, again, we know this didn't happen. Well, here's what happened. This year, we know that they started working on the Inflation Reduction Act a number of months ago. Well, the Inflation Reduction Act was basically just a small version of the Build Back Better agenda, right? So the Build Back Better agenda, again, almost $2 trillion, and then the Inflation Reduction Act came in a little bit under a trillion dollars, right? So as a result of that, there was a lot of talk about possibly adding Medicare expansion into the Inflation Reduction Act. Now, it did not fully make it as far as expanding Medicare uh, for all the beneficiaries, but they did actually add a little bit of provisions into it as far as lowering, lowering prescription prices and things like that. But again, they did not get the full-blown Medicare expansion within the Inflation Reduction Act. Now, remember, Bernie Sanders, we all know Bernie, right? He's one of the independent senators. However, most of the time, he does vote with Democrats. However, he actually is an independent, okay? He's not on either side. He's right down, well, not really right down the middle either, but he is an independent. Anyway, he does mostly vote with Democrats. But the fact of the matter is, uh, Medicare expansion is one of Bernie Sanders' like big hot button issues, right? Bernie Sanders is always the guy out there pounding the table, doing everything he can to expand Medicare, along with so many other things out there. So this is one of Bernie Sanders' big things out there. Well, as a result of it, about a year ago, senior Senate Democrats came out and they introduced the expansion of Medicare. Well, as a result of that, they started whittling away on this thing and basically coming down to, hey, dental coverage is going to be way too expensive for Medicare. Medicare will be broke in no time at all if we do actually add dental coverages into it. So as a result of that, what they decided to do is, hey, let's give a concession to the people. Let's take out uh, uh, dental coverages out of Medicare expansion. In exchange for that, let's give everybody a $1,000 check. Well, then shortly thereafter, they came on and said, hey, just kidding, let's lower it to $800. <laughs> so $200 evaporated out of that check for no reason uh, in the course of like maybe a week, maybe 10 days time. It went from $1,000 down to uh, $800. Well, then all of a sudden they were talking about it and there was a lot of great traction about a potential one-time $800 prepaid card. That's how they were gonna send it out is a one-time $800 prepaid card. So it's gonna be like one of these debit cards or something like this where you get it and then all of a sudden you can spend all the money and once the money's gone, 
that's it, right? It's like a credit card. You basically get to use it. Uh, once it debited down to zero, then that's it, gone. The $800 is gone. And you were supposed to be using it on dental coverages, right? So you could go to the dentist and you could get a cleaning. You could get like a cavity filled. You could get like half of a crown, you know, stuff like this. And then basically once the $800 is gone, it's gone and that's it. And you're supposed to use it on dental coverages. Okay, fine. Now we understand that. Now there was a lot of talk about pot uh, potentially adding Medicare expansion into the Inflation Reduction Act that that was passed a few months ago this year. Well, guess what? It never made it, okay? Medicare expansion never made it into the Inflation Reduction Act. Now, Bernie Sanders still wants to get this done. Like, uh, it's probably pretty unlikely that the Medicare is actually going to ex get, uh, get expanded anytime soon, unless they add it into another really big package, which realistically, probably, you know, as of right now, a big package is not really out there, except for the funding bill. But again, it's not gonna be added into the government funding bill, which actually is a couple trillion dollars. But um, until they can get another bill going, it's highly unlikely that Medicare, Medicare expansion is going to be a standalone bill. It's just probably not likely gonna happen. Bernie Sanders is probably the biggest um, you know, advocate for expanding Medicare. But other than that, there's a handful of other um, you know, Democratic lawmakers that want to do this as well. But for the most part, they do not have the consensus. They do not have widespread unanimous support across Congress to expand Medicare uh, to the degree that Bernie Sanders wants to do it. Well, when it comes down to this one-time $800 check, that's kind of where it stands as of right now. So you can kind of see here the progression that we're watching right now, going back to all the way back to the Build Back Better agenda. It was in there, it was sounding good, but then the Build Back Better basically stopped, right? The Build Back Better, it did not go anywhere. It just ended. Uh, the end of last year, it just stopped. That was it. it. Game over, negotiations done, bill off the table, throw it in the garbage, that's it, right? So that's all that happened to that. So they wasted pretty much all of last year working on something that never actually happened. Well, then this year with the, uh, with the Inflation Reduction Act, they, you know, they wanted to add some things into it, but at the same time, they also wanted to keep the price tag down, which it did come in uh, below a trillion dollars, but still very, very expensive. And the whole idea was to actually lower inflation. And again, that's a little bit of a controversial and contested, uh, you know, uh, discussion right there as well. Uh, we don't need to go down that road, but the fact of the matter is, it was not included in there. So. The hopes of a 100, or sorry, the hopes of an $800 one-time check for about 63 million beneficiaries, which by the way, it would have been focused on Medicare beneficiaries. So right now there's about 63 million people enrolled in Medicare. The payments, according to the information that they were giving about a year ago and uh, earlier this year, was going to be going out to about 63 million beneficiaries. Well, that's how many people are on Medicare right now. A lot of which, again, social security beneficiaries, uh, retirees, SSDI, survivors, Medicare beneficiaries, about 63 million people. So it would have been a very, you know, kind of effective program. And again, it would have been a one-time debit card, $800 loaded onto it, and you're supposed to be using it for dental. And again, like I was saying from the very start, how do they know we're spending it on dental? How do they know that we didn't go out and buy a bunch of food or go and fill up our car with gas four times or, you know, go and buy whatever else. Who knows, how do they know that they weren't gonna be, that we weren't going to be doing that? And again, based on information that I was finding about it, they wouldn't have known. <laughs> yes, this was one of the major concerns across lawmakers is that the lawmakers were coming out saying, how do we know that the people are gonna spend it on dental? And then the response was, we don't, we're just trusting that they're going to. You really think we're gonna spend it on dental? <laughs> you know what I mean? If they give us an $800 debit card, do you really think we're gonna go to the dentist with that? I mean, let's be real. Maybe some of us would, but you know, probably a lot of us probably <laughs> wouldn't have, right? <laughs> Just being real with you right now, right? So again, that's what it came down to. So there was some uh, some controversy on this, this item, uh, this one-time prepaid debit card. This is not the first time we've heard about this. Remember back in 2020, there was a bunch of talk about a $200 prepaid card. That never happened either. So 2020, there was a $200 prepaid card that was supposed to be going out, never happened. Last year and into this year, an $800 card, supposed to happen, never happened. So again, will we hear something about it this year? I'm gonna be honest with you, probably not. Considering where we're sitting right now this year, I'm gonna be honest with you, probably not gonna hear about this again. We heard about it the last couple of years and they probably, you know, they probably gave up on this idea at this point. So when it comes down to it, for those of you that have been asking about this one-time $800 uh, prepaid card, or the one-time $800 check for beneficiaries. Again, just another great idea that was on the table. It would have gone out to a lot of people, would have been a really nice thing, would have helped out at least with some things, uh, but at the end of the day, didn't happen. And realistically, at this point, 
probably not going to happen either. I'm just being real with you right now. I highly doubt this is going to happen anymore. Considering where we're currently sitting, I have not seen a single word on this out of any lawmakers or anybody with authority, um, you know, in Congress or anybody like this in a very long time. It's probably been... I don't know, six months, seven months since I've seen any kind of real legitimate updates on this as far as talk out of lawmakers, anybody talking about this at all to any capacity, haven't seen anything about it. So at this point, I'm going to say just another one of these that we can chalk up on the old chalkboard and say, great idea, but they never followed through. So that's what I'm going to put this one as right now. Just like so many other ideas that we've seen out there out of lawmakers, a lot of great stuff that has hit the table. But again, I think at, all, at this point, all of us can probably agree, you know, they're not very good at following through with what they introduced. They're not very good at following through with what they say they're going to do or even introduce for us. We all get our hopes up and say, oh, that's going to be great. Can't wait for it to happen. How soon can we get it? And then sure enough, they never deliver, right? For the most part. Some things they deliver on, to be totally fair, yes, they do deliver on some things, but a lot of which, unfortunately, they don't. So that's kind of where we stand right now. And again, like I said, I honestly don't believe this one's going to happen anymore. Maybe at some point, but I'm going to be honest with you, I would not get my hopes up on this one. So there's a lot of other things we can watch right now. A lot of other things that I would say have much more higher probability. Some other things that are a much higher likelihood of actually happening. But when it comes down to this one, I don't think so right now. Anyway, so I hope this one helps you out to better understand what's going on with this. As I do get more details on anything going on right now, as it pertains to money, benefits, stimulus, uh, the low income, fixed income, social security, SSDI, retirees, social security, um, survivors benefits, SSI, VA, RRB, low income, no income, seniors, older adults, and of course, people with disabilities. Of course, I'll bring it to you right here in these videos. I'm watching all of it very closely. I truly want to help you out in any way that I possibly can. So if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe down below. It's totally free to do so. Share this video uh, with your friends, family, social media, or go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. And of course, share those with your friends, family, and social media as well. Thanks again. I truly appreciate you. I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. I want to keep you updated with everything going on. And until next time, please enjoy your day. Have a good one, and I'll catch you again later in the next video.